Hello, welcome back. Paul Gerard from Price Accounting Services. In this session in our uh, rental property series, we're going to discuss some rental income issues, uh, fairly common issues that um, get raised by clients in relation to rental income. Now, most of us use a property manager to manage our properties and the property manager accounts for the rental income, etc., and then pays us on a fortnightly or monthly basis. And the question is, I received the rent on the 3rd of July, is that income in this year, last year, because I'm on a cash basis? And the answer is this, the agent is that. The agent is your agent. The agent accounts for the income and expenses that's received, and there's a constructive receipt when they receive it, and the fact that you receive it on the 1st of July is irrelevant. So we always rely on the agent statement. So don't take an agent statement and adjust it, please, okay? If you do that, you will be found to be reckless by the ATO. Um, it's really important you just use the agent statement as it is and account for it that, that way. And same goes if you're the one who collects the rent. Um, your cash receipts are the basis for uh, receipt of income. So if your tenant prepays rent, that's bad luck. The tenant prepays the rent, you don't adjust for it. It's based on when you receive it. And I have had instances where a client might have uh, been paid six months rent in advance, um, literally just before 30th of June. And unfortunately, the cash receipts basis says that that's accessible on receipt, not you can't then apportion it over a period of time. So take care with that. Um, Tenant bad debts, okay. Tenant bad debts, some people say, well, I didn't receive any income, so therefore I wanna claim a deduction for the bad debt. Well, because you're on the cash basis, you never accounted for any income, so therefore you can't claim a deduction. And that's the tax rule. The tax rule says you can only claim a deduction for bad debt where you have already included the income in accessible income. And because you're on a cash basis, you haven't done that. So there, the true tax position is this, you receive less rent because they haven't paid you. So end of matter, that's, that's the key issue there. Um, but related to that can be insurance proceeds. So those of you who have landlord insurance and you have tenants arrears and insurer eventually agrees to settle, let's say April, May and June rent wasn't paid and in August the insurer pays you those three months when is that accessible? Well, that is, that is accessible in the following year when you receive the insurance proceeds because of that cash receipts basis, okay? So simple issues there. Um, we hope that clears up some of the income issues that you might have with a rental property. And if it doesn't, speak to your tax advisor um, and look for our other videos on our playlist um, covering this rental property series or any of our other uh, property videos. And we look forward to seeing another session. Until then, bye.